Welcome back to a new video. Some of you asked if I could make a video about my IDE PHP storm and I think yeah why not. Here is my try to show you how I use it, how you can configure it and how you can generally use it. Because one of the great advantages of PHP storm beside offering awesome auto completion encoding support is that, it's highly, that it is highly customizable and extendable and I hope to show you this within the next videos. In this video, I will start with the general appearance and how you can manipulate it, change it, and adjust it to your needs. So here I'm inside a random Laravel project, and this is probably not how the editor looks like when you just installed it, but it isn't too far from it. And I will show you how I got there and how you can generally, well, quickly change the overall look and feel of your editor or IDE. So here you can see I got this file browser on the left and I got the code editor on the right. This is a bit more minimal than the layout the IDE ships with when you installed it. And this is because here under view, I disabled all these bars like the toolbar here at the top with all these icons or the status bar um, on the bottom. The reason is I don't use these bars anyway because you're quicker with the keyboard and I never click these items therefore I rather have the space here. Now you might have seen them in one of my or in my earlier videos and this is because most of the time I kind of switched it back for the videos as I wanted to have well not a too minimalistic style here, but now since I have that video out, I think I will keep it a bit more minimalistic, but this is generally what I work with. I like this file browser on the left, though there are other ways to navigate to files too, as I will show you in the next video. But this video is about the appearance. And now you generally saw how you can quickly hide or show certain bars or parts of the UI. What if you also want to hide this file browser? Can you do this? Yes, you can. You can click this button here, but now you, well, can't bring it back here at least. However, you can also toggle this behavior by hitting Command-1 on Mac at least, Control-1 on Windows probably, to, well, hide or show this file browser. And this is a good way to quickly make your editor bigger or smaller depending on your needs. However, how is, uh, what's about the general look of this IDE? The dark theme here, for example, the colors of the code, the font size. Can you change this too? Of course you can. And you can do this in the preferences, which you can also open with command uh, comma, by the way. And here you got your appearance and behavior, well, settings item, as well as the editor item. The difference is in the editor settings, you can configure all kind of things about your editor and this includes the appearance of the editor. However, appearance also means colors of certain keywords in specific languages. The appearance and behavior setting up here targets the IDE as a whole. And here, for example, under appearance, you can choose from the default or the darkula theme, whichever you prefer. As you see, you got a lot more options here you can set. And this is what I meant. You can really customize any bit of PHP Storm. And this is really great about it. To be honest, many items you'll probably never touch, but some of them allow you to really hand tailor the IDE to your needs. And the great thing is, if you're not sure where the item you want to change is, you can always go to the search bar here at the top and like all tree views in the IDE in PHP Storm, you can search for, let's say, code completion. And then it will filter down to only the items that contain something, and it will also highlight that, about code completion. And that is of course a great feature which allows you to quickly find and change the settings you want to change. So that is one thing. Now let's go back to the appearance here. As you saw, we could switch between the themes here. We can also override the default fonts here if we want, 
but we can also do this in the editor if we only want to override the font of our actual code and not of the overall IDE. As you can see, you get a lot more here you can change. You can change how the IDE, how PHP Storm, and the same is of course true for WebStorm, behaves when starting up or when closing. You can change the notifications you get and so on. So really a lot of things. Now let's go to the editor. The editor, of course, is this part here on the right. And here you can not only change the appearance, but also how it generally, generally works, how completion works, how, how line breaks work, if you see line numbers and so on. It really is a lot. And I will not go through all these individual settings items because this video would take about five hours and who wants to see and remembers a list of setting items gone through step by step? Probably no one. So what I will do is in well, all the next videos in this series, I will always explain, okay, if you want to change this or now I change this and I did this here. So I will show you where in the preferences you can set up certain things. Back to the editor, if you want to change the styling, you can, for example, do this here under colors and fonts. And here you get a lot more styles than just Darkula and default. This is the case because these styles don't affect the overall IDE, but only the code editor. And well, the, these are a couple of more. However, if you, let's say, want to change the font of Darkula, you're not allowed to, you can't change this. This is the case because PHP Storm kind of protects you from overwriting the default setting and then having no way back. So if you want to change the look, and I did for example for the videos where I increased the font size, you save this as a new version, like here I have Darkula copy, and in this copy you are allowed to change things because if you mess something up here, well, you can always just go back to the original Darkula. Now here you may change font size, line spacing, and much more. Very useful are, for example, the colors. And you can change the colors of keywords, comments, and so on per language if you want that. So for example, here for PHP, if I want to change the color of this function keyword, I can either look it up here or I just click on function as preview here and I'm already taken to it. So this is a keyword. And if I want to override the look of this keyword, I could remove this check mark here and then I'm free to choose whichever style or color I want. And as you can see, the preview here at the bottom automatically updates with that. So this is pretty handy. So this is how you generally can manipulate the appearance of your editor of the IDE, change which bars or parts of the IDE you see. And as I said, I will come back to certain parts in future videos, but this is generally how I want to start this off and how I want to point you at the right preference items to start playing around and change the editor such that it looks the way you want it to look. In the next video, we'll have a look at how we can navigate around in PHP Storm and WebStorm and all these IDEs here.